My grandfather and great-grandfather started Junction Auto in 1931. If you want to pay more, that's your business. If you want to pay less, that's my business. My name is Jaden Copley, and I was proud and honored to be Danny's big sister. He moved in with me shortly after graduation, and then with me for 10 months. His children were separated through the foster system. And I'm so glad we had those 10 months so we can learn about each other. And then I was able to share with him how wonderful our grandmother was. And even our father, who was a good person, but he fell in the bottle and he couldn't get out. Danny was a good boy, and he wanted so much to go in the Army, and I did discourage him because that was not his thing to do in life. But our father had served in the Korean War, and he, that's all he ever wanted. He wanted simple things in life, to get married, to have a little farm, to provide nicely for his family, and have two to three children. Edwards, you are a cop. You should have taken me out in that field, and I guarantee you, you would have never came out. Danny was a trusting, loving child, and he trusted too much, and I told him about that. But there is another thing he wanted to do, and that was to travel. In his short life, he did get that experience. And there is something I wrote for him. And I'd like to read that. There is never closure. I have an emptiness in my heart. And as time goes on, my heart will heal. I will always have some sadness and always miss it. Because the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. My brother and I have never had the emotion of hate. I can't forgive you, Edwards, and I know Danny would be so upset with me for that. He could never ever say anything bad about anybody, no matter what they said or did to him. I beg this court, on Danny's behalf, please do not give him the death sentence. He did the crime. And not only to my brother, to other people, young people who deserve the same chances he had, the same chances to get married and have a family and a full life. He took it for no reason for all of those young people. And I beg you, please do not give this man what he wants. He has taken and taken what he's wanted. He's never worked. He is now taking from the taxpayers, all of us. Please, do not do this. This is not what my brother wanted. He did not hate. I don't hate, and our father didn't hate. Thank you, gentlemen, for listening to me.